Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Thrunite TH30 V2. This is a very bright headlamp. As you can see, it's got an orange peel reflector. It's got some baffles here to dissipate heat. It's all operated by a top switch. And it can tail stand. More texture here for grip. It's got a recharging port. The light comes with a number of accessories. You have a spare port cover, some O-rings. You have a pocket clip. You have a recharging cable, which is USB to type C. You have a head strap, which is adjustable. And you have a mounting bracket in case you want to wear it as a headlamp. This also comes with an 18650 battery included. To access it, remove the tail cap. This is the battery. It is a rechargeable lithium ion battery and this is it's a very powerful battery in order to fuel the turbo mode for this light. In order to recharge that battery in the light, you hook up the recharging cable to any USB power source that is a power bank. It has a red indicator light when it is charging. When it is fully charged, that will turn blue. The maximum lumens are 3,320, and you can see the run times there. The maximum beam distance is 170 meters. Operation of the light. To turn it on, press the top switch. To turn it off, press the top switch. Once it is on, you can cycle through the four middle modes if you press and hold. Let's do that now. Double tap will bring turbo. That is the turbo. A triple tap will bring SOS. Okay, warning, we're going to flash the lights. Alright, so it's flashing SOS. If you press and hold from off, it'll go to Firefly. Let's do that now. It's a very low mode. There's Firefly. Okay, at this time I'm going to roll in the outside testing and demonstration footage. Now it is a headlamp, it's not a thrower or anything, so I'm not going to go to the sports field, but I can definitely walk around and show you some beam shots and some views at the creek. Alright, so I'm going to roll that in right now and then we'll come back for final thoughts on this headlamp. Okay YouTube, I'm out here with this through night headlamp on the old testing board. It's raining on us a little, but that's okay. Let's cycle through the modes. All right, let's go turbo. Wow. I mean, this is, this is very bright for a headlamp. All right, let's do the SOS. It's going to flash. Flashing SOS. Okay, let me show you the Firefly mode. Hold on. All right, so there's the Firefly mode. I don't know if the camera can pick it up because it's an ultra-low mode, but just to prove it, there, there it is. All right. All right, back to turbo, and you can also see the lit switch, the lit top switch there as well. Okay, YouTube, I'm out here with this through night headlamp on the road. All right, let's crank it up to the turbo, see what we can see. And right, I'm just going to walk around. Now, I am going to hold it like this because you can see, you can just see it better. Uh, I know it is a headlamp, but I'm not going to wear this and do turbo mode. It just doesn't make sense to do turbo mode when it's right next to your head, okay? So in order for you to see the brightest and see what this can really do, I'm going to hold it like this. So what can we see? Well, it certainly is raining. Yeah, there is some rain coming down, but just, you know, like I said, imagine this is your bug out and things don't go as planned. Car breaks down. Let's say you had to fix, uh, you had to look under the hood. This would be more than adequate to do some emergency repairs, right? So a work light, a headlamp. If you had to hike, you know, you had to hike through some brush at night, this would be good, right? Of course, you wouldn't have to use the uh, highest mode. It'll last longer if you step it down. Okay, here's a top view beam shot of the headlamp on the road. Wow, nice. I mean, look at that angle. Yeah, nice flood effect. Get behind it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, this is lighting up a lot. 
Okay, let's go check out Frog Creek. Okay, YouTube, here we are overlooking Frog Creek. Let's go turbo. Wow. As you can see, there's lots of humidity and moisture in the air because it's raining, but, you know, you might need a headlamp in suboptimal conditions. Reaches up to the treetops. The creek is flowing strongly. You see the water down there. All right, doing what it should do, lighting up a big scene overlooking the creek. Yeah, definitely some good flood. So if you had to light up the whole scene, this will do the trick. All right, so this is the, the through night headlamp at Frog Creek. And we are back. Okay, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed that. So let's talk about headlamps. You need a headlamp. Everybody needs a headlamp. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you have to get this one, but you need to start thinking about a headlamp if you don't have one. Especially if you're a prepper, if you're into preparedness, you know, uh, emergencies can happen to anyone. There are two types of lights that everyone needs. One is a fighting light, meaning a light to complement your firearm, because if you can't see, you, you can't fight, okay? So for night fighting, you need a light, a fighting light. All right, the second type of light that everyone needs is a headlamp, okay? If you think of like car breakdowns, bug out scenarios, emergency evacuations, situations where you have to do repairs at night, like fixing the engine of your vehicle, and you need to just hunch over, you know, look under the hood, you need this, okay? Or if you're on foot, if you have to evac on foot, uh, you know, if you've ever done night hiking, this is vital, right? Night hiking, it's really just a, a drill for evacuation, right? So think about getting a headlamp. Now, should you get this headlamp? That really depends. You know, this uses a larger battery compared to some, right? If you've never worn a headlamp, you might want something smaller and lighter. Or if for some reason, other members of your family might have to use, have to wear the headlamp. If they've never worn a headlamp, something heavy might freak them out, right? So, Consider maybe a smaller headlamp in some situations. Now, a headlamp usually doesn't have to be as bright as this one is. This one, I mean, they just keep making them brighter and brighter, right? In excess of 3,000 lumens. Do you need that for a headlamp? I'm going to be honest. No, not usually. However, the fact that this is so bright, it does open up other options and other uses for this. Uh, for example, if you're holding this and you shine it at a potential aggressor, well, 3,000 lumens, is, they're going to be seeing spots, okay? So the fact that this is, can get super bright, that might not be needed if you're just fixing, like, your car engine, you know, at close range, but it could have other applications, so just keep that in mind. All right, so as far as this particular light, you know, it worked fine. It was very bright. I mean, crazy bright for, for a headlamp. All right, so I, I don't have any no-goes as far as um, just the functioning of the light. All right, it really all depends on where you're at, who's using it, what are your needs, okay? So some of you might want this light, you know, because it does use that longer battery compared to some other headlamps, um, this has more capacity than the smaller, lighter lights, right? So there's always a trade-off. You have to think. Me, personally, the weight doesn't bother me at all because I've done, like, I've done night hiking and things like that, and I would rather have a larger battery, right? I don't want to run out of lights. I mean, I always carry a spare, but still. Okay, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll include a link to this light as well as Through Night's official website and various other gear and supplies that might interest you in the uh, description below the video. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. 
I'm out.